Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today we are going to be creating this cute Valentine's holder. It's just in one of our little cello bags here. Um, made with some DSP inside. I'm sure you've probably seen these before, but I thought that I would make, this is what I made for my Halloween. Um, Halloween. I like that. <laughs> my valentine card class that i had yesterday and we made four cards and a treat holder um, so let's go ahead and get started all right so i have a packet here and um i will have all of the measurements over on my blog when we're done and then um, everybody that has a um, comment makes a comment on that post um, i will pick a name and i will send out this this packet, it has the instructions, full color instructions right um, in it, and everything you need to make this little little treat holder. All right, so after you're done watching the video, um, click, on the clink, click on the link below, and um, it will take you over to my blog. Um, I'm having problems uh, putting it seems like I'm putting my words, a lot of my words together here. Let's see, what was that? I don't know. All right, okay. So, let's go ahead and get started here. So first of all, I'm gonna take our, uh, this. these are three by nine inch cello bags that we sell in the catalog, of course. And I am going to take this and I'm gonna put it on my trimmer at, and I'm going to cut this down to six inches. Okay, so we're just going to get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. All right, then I'm going to take a piece of tear and tape, and so that this lays flat, I want this to lay flat um, so that the um, it's, it's just, it sets easier without this little uh, doohickey here flowing all over the place. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting a piece of tear and tape on the bottom of the bag. And I'm going to cut that off. And let me get my take your pick tool. And this is about the only hard part of the whole thing here is getting the, the backing off of the tape, which wasn't so bad this time. And then I'm just gonna fold that over. All right. So then when you open the bag, and you're just gonna kind of push this down, a little tap, it's gonna make it flat, but then this part is also flat. Um, so it's gonna make it stand up better, okay? All right, now we're gonna take our, get all our little things out of the way here. We're gonna take our Simply Scored, and we are going to score this piece of designer series paper and we are going to score that at, get my instructions here, we are going to score that at one, five and a half, and seven and a half. going to get our bone folder and we're going to make sure that we give each of these a good burnish. All right. So the top is the one with the um, one inch score line just 
and then the longer part. So this is the top. So that this part is the bottom and this is the, the, the bottom part of the box. I can't talk today. You're gonna put that in there. Just like that. And that's gonna help it stay flat. Give it a little bit more stability. And then you're gonna fill that up with candy, which I will in a second. But then this, this part right here, that doesn't go in the bag, that goes over the top of the bag, just like that, all right? All right, so let's do a little bit of stamping here. I am using the stamp set that is always in my heart. This is in the main catalog. <clears throat> so this is in the main catalog, and I'm using Be My Valentine. And then I'm using real red ink. I'm going to take a black, put that on here, and we're just going to give that a good, ink that up good. Let me get my, my mat here. And then that's going to get stamped right on here. All right. this out of the way. Then I'm going to bring in my mini cut and emboss machine. I'm going to take my one and my two. I'm going to put my sentiment right here. From the new catalog, I am using the see what this bouquet of love um, dies and I'm using this one right here and that's gonna go right on here and I'm gonna try and get that centered as best I can because I do want to put a little embellishment on each side then I will need another two put that right on top Send that through. Okay. Put that away so I don't lose it. Then you're going to need a couple of scraps of one of real red and one of Highland Heather. And I am using the punches here. I'm using the punches. These do heart punch pack. These do come in a bundle. So let's see which one did I use. I used the red one with the straight edges and then the scalloped one is the Highland Heather. Okay. And then these are just going to get adhered together. And I'm just going to use some Tombow for that. I'm just going to adhere these two together. All right. And then going to take a couple of our regular, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, I feel it coming, a couple of our regular dimensionals, and I'm going to put those in the middle here. And then that's going to go in the middle of our heart, okay. Then we can fill our bag with some candies. So I've got some Dove Hearts in here and some Hershey's Hearts. And this is going to give you a good amount here. I've also got some um, <laughs> Christmas candy in here. 
have another Reese's Hearts, I guess they are. All right, so we got that filled up. Then I'm going to take about 16 inches of our, uh, what is it called? Real Red Faux Linen Ribbon. Close this up. Lay this down here. See if I can tie the bow. I get my nails done on Thursday. Thank goodness. I feel like I can't do anything without my nails. It's so weird. give our little ribbons just a little clip here and then I'm also going to I'm just going to take a little glue dot and I'm going to put that behind the bow just kind of helps it stay in place wow And then when you need to take it off, you can take it off from the back side just and then it keeps the ribbon on there and you just fold this a little bit and it slips right back down. All right. That part will not be in the instructions, but just so you know. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna take our little heart that we made. I'm going to put some stamp and seal and that's just going to go right on the front of your little bag and that is how simple that is so here's the one that we just made and here is the one that I made earlier all right head on over to my blog for all the instructions I'll have all the instructions written out for you oh Almost forgot. I always forget about my embellishments. So we need some of the red rhinestone basic jewels. And I'm just taking two. I don't know where that other one went. And I'm just putting them right here. On the other side. There, that looks better. 100 times, right? Okay, so here we go. Make sure I got it all in here. Yes, I believe I do. All right, so head on over to my blog. It'll give you all the dimensions over there. And then, like I said, leave a comment over there and I will draw a name and then send you the packet um, so that you can create your own along with the instructions here. You get everything you need. As you saw in that was little that was my class packet from yesterday. So everything is in there that you need. The only thing you're going to have to do is do the stamping. So um, I hope you like this. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.